This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi friends, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and I'll be speaking on tackling the unique challenges we face during manual SICS while dealing with eyes with loose zonules, especially in eyes with pseudo exfoliation. In such eyes, the most common difficulty or complication that happens is during the mobilization of the nucleus out of the bag. If you are not careful, more often than not, we may end up in having an inadvertent intercapsular extraction as the capsular bag which is invariably sticking out of the nucleus just comes along with the nucleus owing to the loose zonules. So here are my top 5 pearls to deal with such situations. Tip number 1. Make a bigger excess. A minimum of 5.5 mm or more uh, is critical. In certain situations where inadequate pupillary dilatation may prevent us from having an adequately sized rexus, I would use hooks to expand the pupil and to do a bigger rexus and perform a secondary larger rexus if required. So tip number 1 is to see well. Number two, good hydrodissection. This is probably the most critical step. It ensures that the nucleus is completely devoid of its capsule attachment. At this point, I can see the bag is still moving when I nudge the nucleus. I repeat it until I can see that the bag is totally free uh, from the nucleus and it does not move when the nucleus is being rotated. Number three, early insertion of CTR is critical in such situations. Most common error performed by surgeons is to delay the insertion of the CTR. Early insertion of CTR is the key. Creating some space under the capsule by using sodium hyaluronate eases the insertion process. I prefer the bimanual technique of insertion wherein I compress and support the ring with my non-dominant hand to minimize the stress on the zonules while I insert the ring into the bag. Now coming on to the most crucial step that is nucleus prolapse. The most important trick in such eyes is to use the bimanual way of manipulating or wheeling the nucleus out of the bag. I support the equator of the nucleus with one dialer and the other dialer just wheels out the nucleus out of the bag. If you can master this technique, we can manipulate the nucleus out through the smaller rexus as well even in eyes with weak zonules. Lastly, inserting the lens. Well, one can put in the lens into the bag, but my personal preference is to use the IOL trap technique wherein a hydrophobic multi-piece lens is placed into the sulcus with the optic being trapped behind the rexus, which ensures better long-term stability in such eyes. Thank you for attention and the opportunity.